Yeah, yeah. What's up out there, Raw Nation? It's Raw TV, Raw Life. Yeah, you know I mean, Red of Tay, Raw. Right at you, right in your face. Check it out, man. Been meaning to get back at you always, me too. We're going to start doing this on a more consistent basis. But check it out. Yesterday, I met a young individual. I'd like to give a shout out to Nico Ali Walsh, Muhammad Ali grandson. I was on my way to work. And I seen dude jogging. Like he, you know, he looked like he him. You know, so I busted you. You know, he must have seen me bust a you. So you know say he made that immediate right. You know, I'm riding around in a in a raper van. If you're from the bay, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> If you're from the Bay, you know what I'm talking about. But I got the big 15 dark blue passenger van ready to pick up some. And, um, you know, he kind of dipped off. So I had to bust another you. <laughs> So I pull up on him, you know, like, um, man, ain't you, ain't you Lil Ali? He like, yeah. I'm like, man, for real? He like, yeah. So he like, man, um, can I get a picture of you? You know, he was real cool, real humble, like, yeah, you know. But it was cool, you know, he out there running, doing his thing. I have seen a um, couple of highlights of his fights. He got hands and um, just shout out. Nico, keep doing your thing. You mind? You got your, you, it's in your jeans. It's in your jeans. Keep doing your thing. That's the second um, box art I met out here. I met, um, said a couple of years ago, I met um, lightweight champion, WBC lightweight champion, Devin Haney. Shout out Devin Haney. You know, boy, quick, got them hands. Devin Haney, you know, real, real humble, young, young individuals. You know, so shout out to them. I um, want to get into this boxing report. You know, um, we got Ugas and Arrow the Truth Spencer. They fighting August 16th. What's Arrow today? The Friday. Spence. So that's probably about. I'm bad. I messed that up. Probably about three more weeks. Name, right? Arrow the Truth Spence. Arrow the Truth Spencer against Ugas. And, um, Arrow the Truth Spence. The, the, um, the welterweight division Spence. is stacked. The welterweight division. It's stacked. We kind of eliminated a few. Um, Danny Garcia, probably the most promising middleweight. Not middleweight, excuse me. That's for my man Nico Ali fighting at middleweight, 162. My new, my new favorite boxer. Anyway, um, we got the boy Danny Garcia. Out of Philadelphia, he lost to Keith Thurman. He lost to Sean Porter, and he lost to Errol Spencer. I mean, Errol the True Spence. So, basically, Errol the True Spence. I he's not in the running. Up the truth I man. like Danny Garcia. He got hands, got heart. You know, but you know, he's kind of, kind of out the running. Excuse me real quick. And also speaking on speaking on Sean Porter, Showtime Sean Porter. I love I love Sean Porter as a boxer. You know, he always he always bought it. And he fought everybody that was out there. You know, he was champion. Who did he beat to get the champion? I think he beat Danny Garcia to get the champion championship belt. And um, he's fought he's fought Keith Thurman. Came up short to Keith Thurman. Tough, good fight. He fought Earl the Truth Spence. Another tough fight. Another tough fight. But he ended with Terrence Crawford. And 
Call for putting on him. Call for putting on him. Now, in my opinion, I had Earl of Truth Spence, Terrence Bud Crawford, 1A, 1B. After seeing the fight between Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter, I kind of switched that around. Uh, Terrence Crawford, 1A, Earl of Truth Spence, 1B. Now, I seen them fight the same opponents, and Bud is putting it on just a little, a little bit harder. I love the truth. I love the truth, Spence. Now, he then came out. He had his big car accident. And to come back from that, if you, you've seen how that car flipped so many times, but to come back from that, that, um, you know, God is with that man. And I just hope he's, you know, his life is prosperous throughout. But with this boxing thing, he came out. And he fought Danny Garcia after his accident, after he recuperated. Danny Garcia is no slouch, but Errol Spence put it on him. Dog walked him. Errol Spence put it on him. Then after that fight, Errol Spence fought Showtime Sean Porter, which is kind of a good gauge to see where everybody's at. Another name we're going to throw in the mix is Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman just had a fight last month, I believe, and he was victorious and looked good. And since cause Keith Thurman at one time was was a WBC champion, and um, or at least a welterweight champion. I don't know which belt it was. It might be WBC, WBA, IBF. Anyway, Keith Thurman was a champion. And while he was champion, you had these young dogs calling him out. Earl Spence, uh, Terrence Crawford. I think it was another cat. And Keith Thurman... Said he was injured at the time. These guys wasn't ready. It's just funny how the tables turned. Because now Keith Thurman came off the layoff, his layoff. And he jumped in there. He had a fight. He won. Decision. Wasn't at his best. Then he jumped in there with Manny Pacquiao. The last of the last era. And... Manny dropped him early. Manny dropped him early. But that was a good fight. But Keith Thurman came up short to Manny Pacquiao. Boom. The torch is passing. So Keith Thurman, one time, he got that one time loss. So he's still in the mix, and now he's calling out Earl Spence, he's calling out Bud Crawford, and I remember when they was doing the same thing to him. Now the tables have turned, but he's still, he's still lightweight in the mix. Then you had Ugas, or Dennis Ugas. He came off a fight with Sean Porter, and to me, my money was on Sean Porter. It was a good fight. It wasn't the typical time Sean Porter fight. And I thought I had lost my money that night. But uh, Sean Porter defended his title belt. Thus, he fought Errol Spence and lost to Errol Spence. So Errol Spence became champion. Now, Ugas... Errol Spence was supposed to fight Manny Pacquiao, the changing of the torch. Training camp, Errol Spence got a torn retina in his eye, and the fight couldn't happen. There was speculation behind that, but the man had 
or Tora Redner. He couldn't fight Manny Pacquiao. That would have been an interesting fight. But then Ugas got to jump in in Errol Spence's spot. Ugas slid in and got that opportunity. Now Ugas, like I say, he got in there. He was throwing up things for Sean Porter. He was throwing up things against Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao couldn't couldn't sing. He couldn't do nothing with him. So now, Errol Spence is healthy. He was supposed to fight Manny Pacquiao. Ugas defeated Pacquiao. Ugas is the champion now. Ugas against Errol Spence. That's going to be a good fight. Then it's going to be just one belt that Terrence Bud Crawford has. There's news that he might vacate and go up. But I really like to see this welterweight thing finish itself out. So we got this fight coming up on April 16th. Ugas against Errol Spence. Ugas got hands, punches hard, stands in there, and he'll throw with you. Errol Spence likes to stand in there, and he'll throw with you. But at the same time, he's more of a tactician, boxer. I believe he has more skill than Ugas. And Ugas is going to bring that heart that fight, so it's, it's going to be a good fight. Again, that's on April April 16th, and um, man, after that, somebody going to have two belts and be looking for that fight against Bud Crawford. You know, um, they said that Bud Crawford might be signing with PBC, so a lot of these fighters or under the PBC banner. Top rank is another banner. That's where Bud Crawford is at, but I believe he's leaving top rank. So uh, what happened during the pandemic? Pandemic, we got to see we got to see a lot of good fights put on. It's like cats was down there being forced to fight each other. So after Floyd retired, you know, the welterweight division been making some noise. We've been getting some good fights. I believe this one on the 16th is going to be a good one. And that the, you know what I'm saying, some of the dust will start settling. And we'll see who, who's going to rise to the top. But again, shout out to the boy Nico Ali Walsh, young man. You know, keep doing your thing. I hope we meet again in the future. Also, my man Devin Haney, you know, I'd like to see you, see you young cats again, man, but keep doing your thing, stay undefeated, protect yourself at all times. Man, it's Raw, Red or Tay, Raw, and we out this time. Peace.